Okay, so as you can see, we're widening the rear fenders. Um, I am doing four inches. I went back and forth between if I wanted to do three inches or four inches. Um, so the way I ended up deciding was I cut me a, a few strips at four inches, got it up there, held it. So I, I welded my four inch strips to the piece that bolts to the bedside, but I clamped it to the fender so I could kind of get an idea, you know, step back and look at it. Um, and that way, if it, if it was too much or whatever, I could step it back down to three inches and we could mount the fender. Um, I like the four inches. Uh, a lot of what I'm going by is this right here. So they're just barely past the front fenders, which is what I want. So I think it looks good. Um, I had actually already filmed this and I didn't realize, but it was still on time lapse. So, but I had, I had filmed it before I done this little piece here. So what I did was, is I got my, my rear bottom and my front bottom put in there, tacked in. Uh, I got the bottom of the fender level on the front and the back. And that's how I ended up getting it in place. I should have come through, <coughs> excuse me. I should have come through before I put my tape for my tape line. I should have come through, ground this all down and put me some reference marks. That way I'd kind of know, you know, it's kind of in line where it was. I didn't do it. I'm gonna do it that way on the next one and see if it changes anything. Uh, I don't think it will, but um, I was kind of having a hard time getting it to sit where it wanted. And I, I feel like, same as the front fenders, when this was cut loose, maybe it had some pressure, you know, built up from, from the part, from the fender being pressed and formed or what, but it's kind of like it relaxed. Um, so this area we'll have to probably do some some relief cuts <clears throat> like we done the front fenders to get all that to flow back in so the curve curvature there may be a little bit different it's fine i'm not worried about it and something i did on the front that i may do on this rear fender also is this kind of tapers downwards uh and it needs to be more straight just to help align all this now i can push this down and i can get it to line up so what i'm probably going to do is is i'm going to cut uh, end up doing a piece to you know from here to here or so about midways or so of this curve maybe a little less than midways um because i found it easier if i put a seam in the curve it's easier to work my panels and work that area um Plus, I think if I do a panel right here, do a piece here, I can push this down, get it all clamped in where it needs to be, and I can get this area took care of, and then I'll have to worry about that lower section there, and that'll probably be, I'll have to do some relief cuts. I may even come in on the, on, like I did on the front, I cut this piece a couple uh, spots, so maybe like cut it here and maybe here, and then I can pry that down a little bit and get it more straight those gaps will open up you'll have to weld them up but they can be welded up um, and that'll help that flow back together a little it does change the curvature just a little bit but it, it shouldn't be enough that you're really going to notice it <clears throat> um, and and then after i got the front after i got the front and the rear piece done on the lower section i've done this center top piece um, to kind of hold it all there and then uh, then I done this one and I was gonna try to do all this in one but I knew it wasn't gonna happen it was trying to kick it off to the side wasn't wanting to line up so I cut it right there in the about middle of that um, curve and ended up doing it in two pieces here uh, but what I did was after I got this piece in I put that piece up there, marked it from the inside, uh, trimmed it, and got it to just sit in there perfect. 
and then yeah um a little more simpler than the front fenders i feel because you don't have the headache of cutting cutting all that down around the the front of the the grill area and all that but you don't really have a starting point on the rear fenders so you just kind of gotta get them up there as best as you can lined up as best as you can and start start that way uh, that's why i say a lot of people take and make them some strips to get it held up there um, maybe i done it a little more of a difficult way i just went ahead and made me a couple strips that was the side I, size i needed and started getting them put on but it worked looks great um, but being these front fenders the way it cut and everything it was tack welded here before anything was put in so that kind of give you a point to start on the front fenders the rears don't really have that so uh, it was a little more of a headache just to get it up there um, and I was by myself so that didn't make it any better but I'm pleased with the four inches I think it'll be um, what we're going for move this fan maybe we can get a shot to see I've still got to do that little section there at the bottom of the fender where it rolls under that's fine um, but yeah I think it looks great I know that that front area there it's probably going to be a headache about like doing this here on the front fenders but um, there's really no easy way to go about it but that's what I'm going for so I'm gonna go ahead probably get you set back up we're gonna finish this one up and once this one's done and we've got all the panels tacked in it I may very well possibly start on the other side get the other side uh, at least to this point where everything's tacked back on and then I can start going around getting everything welded up solid once everything's welded up solid I can go back ground by both of them down because both of them have to come off the truck I have to pull them off the truck to work this little area right here around the stake pocket so what I ended up doing was when I tacked this piece on i done that before the fender was up there so I tacked it from the inside a few times right in there to hold that that curve to it um, so when I pull the fender off I'll take and uh, get I'll be able to get in there and weld all that up right there and then while they're off the truck they'll probably get ground down and they'll probably get fiberglassed before they get put back on just so I don't have to fight with this area right here um, I know there should be more room right there so like I've said before this bed was was built somewhat before I got the truck um, so I don't know like lengthwise this may be shorter than they normally are uh, and I just really don't know couldn't tell you the stake pockets wasn't on there when I got the truck so we've added those it would have been nice to do this before that and they wouldn't have been in the way but it is what it is we'll get it took care of we'll pull them off of there address that little area and then I also noticed there's a couple spots on that inner lip where it bolts that uh, they need to be addressed again there's a spot up here that I missed in the front right around the top of that piece I put in um, that I missed where there's a piece that's rusted out and missing so it's super flimsy right there um, so I'll get a piece cut out and put in there and get that fixed this bottom lip right here there's a couple spots that I think need to be cut to relieve a little bit of that and just get it knocked back in um, we'll take care of all that uh, I think the back is still a little tweaked 
from everything being bent up and just the fenders being in rough shape. This one does have the, the rear brace still attached to it. I think this is the only one that has the brace attached to it. So what I'll end up doing is I'll come in and make braces for all of them and make a plate for those braces to bolt off of. But, yeah, so I figured I just wanted to, to kind of show you how it was going, give you an update on uh, what I've had to deal with so far. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to start getting a couple pieces cut for me to do this front section. And then once those are cut, we'll get that knocked out. And this side will pretty well be uh, tacked back on. Everything will be, you know, filled in except for that little lower section in the back. Okay, so as you can see, this side is done. I've lost some video footage somehow. I had a couple videos that ended up corrupted. They're no good. Um, I had somewhat kind of already finished the video out. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to add a little bit to it. To, um, to lengthen it up a little bit and not kind of just leave it hanging um, but we got this side done um, and then after I got this side done uh, I didn't do much filming on welding everything up but I went through I welded everything up solid got it all tacked in um, 
Then after that was done, I pulled both sides off and got them set up um, and got everything ground down. And then while they were off the truck, I went ahead and started putting fiberglass on. I filmed a little bit of the fiberglass um, and then some of the sanding and stuff like that. Um, but I wasn't completely done. Uh, I ran out of sandpaper. I need to get some more sandpaper. I just haven't had a chance to run to the store. Um, and I've got to finish both sides, front and back, just down at the very bottom. The whole reason I didn't do it already was I had it sitting on a table. And I uh, figured once I got them mounted back on the truck, I can hit that little lower section with some fiberglass and take care of that so like i said let me pull it around here so it's a little easier to see but i've got the lip the, the little bottom lip area done on all four uh, corners on both sides front and back as you can see here this one's done also I just need to do fiberglass same with this one just need to do fiberglass been messing around with some vents here on the front of this fender not sure what I'm gonna do yet um, but yeah uh, so I think what I'm gonna do as you can see this side I've gotten more sanding done on this side than the other side but um just trying to get them close enough that i can go through and start putting a thin uh a thin coat of body filler or uh yeah body filler um just to finish smoothing everything out uh there i mean it's not super smooth with the fiberglass so I'm happy with them. Uh, I think they look really good. They turned out good. Um, I don't know that I'd say one side's rougher than the other or anything, but these fenders were just in terrible shape to begin with, so uh, I wasn't going to get perfect out of them regardless. I found a couple dents that uh, I knocked them out as best as I could, uh, but they were... They were just, it was a bunch of little dents. So I just put a thin coat of fiberglass over those two while I had it out. We'll smooth some uh, body filler over those also uh, when we do everything else. But as you can see, I still need to do down here. This one has a little bit more left exposed than the other ones, but it's fine. Um, I had ran out of fiberglass, um, so I had to get some fiberglass. And I got fiberglass, but I've, I, uh, I failed to pick up some sandpaper. So I'm out of sandpaper at the moment. Um, I'll get some in the next few days and get back to sanding because i really want to get these sanded down get some filler put on them and get that sanded down and just go ahead and get some primer put on them um, but i want to get the front sanded also and i haven't started sanding them at all um, and um oh, something else i'm going to do i've got to do i've got to finish this little lip area here I was going to do it the other day when I done the backs and I just didn't have time. Um, but I'm going to get them finished up. And I believe the passenger side, this is done all the way under. Um, I might need to pull the fender back off just so I can weld the bottom side up. But uh, this side I didn't do because the whole that whole bottom lip area needs a little bit more work um, and I'll probably pull it off of the truck to do it so it'll be fine not a big issue but yeah uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna mix up some fiberglass 
and we're gonna smooth some fiberglass on these bottom sections on this these rear fenders go ahead and get that uh, completely done that way whenever I get some sandpaper in the next couple of days it'll be dry and we can just go ahead and continue on uh, getting them all sanded up and finished up uh, and get some get some filler put on them and get them smoothed out so let me get you set up and we'll get some fiberglass mixed up real quick okay i'm gonna get some bondo glass mixed up Gotta mix up some more, I'll mix up some more. Another front area on the passenger side. Needs a good little bit. And this side needs some uh, that wrap, wrapping around toward the outside edge here. Good little dollop of hardener. Fold it in there. Um, yeah, I ain't worried about it. Um, 
if it looks a little rough when I sand it, I may put a little extra body filler there or something like that. But there's a spot right here that I sanded that's a little rough. And I'm just going to take this little extra that's left on my scraper. Now, I am going over the holes for the running boards. I'm not worried about it. Um, I can come in there and clean those out. Plus, they're going to have to be changed. Um, seeing as how we're going to have to widen the running boards also. Um, and then those holes will not be in the same spot now so this area will need some more there's some bondo right here that i need to get off of there and then i'll just come on out to that outer edge with that bottom lip so let me do the other side real quick up some more. I don't know that we'll have enough to do what we need to do. That's just fine. Oh, we might. I doubt it because I don't We'll leave that up there because that's it. Other side. I'll do this little area later. This I had to fill this panel that was rusted out and in pretty rough shape. Let me see if I have enough to do this back. I've got one little um. See if I can get this thing.
the seat. If I can get this thing angled so we can get a good back shot. It's dark out tonight. I don't really want to open the door up. get a view of it. Let me bring it around a little more. Sorry. Oh yeah. It's the first view I've had of it from the back. Um, I haven't even opened the garage door or anything. Um, just welding the fenders up. Uh, getting them welded up solid and ground down and fiberglassed and what sanding I've done on the fiberglass took several days um, so it kind of sucks that I lost that I lost the the footage that I had but I mean it wasn't anything necessarily important um, you know it was kind of simple, repetitive stuff. Um, but yeah. I think that'll work. I think that will work. But yeah. Don't pay no attention to that. You didn't see that. <laughs> I'm working on trying to get an idea if, if I want to do some some little vents in those fenders um, also trying to get an idea what I want to work on in the next video uh, there's plenty of stuff that I can do but uh, I need to finish up the front from where we widened the front fenders still not sure what I want to do in that area and I'm seriously thinking of just filling it in for now just so I can get it done so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do um, I'm still still just kinda just shooting it as we go shooting you know, winging it I guess you could say um, video to video right now um, I like it though I do I like it got them out there where we want them uh, I've, I've i've done a little looking at some uh some some wheels and tires i'm not quite sure what i want to do just looking but yeah i think so see you can see right out here there's a little bit of bondo and i'm going to get that off of there before I bring that fiberglass on out somebody had previously replaced that bottom section there and it's really rough uh, it's it's rough in the sense that they overlapped it when they welded it they didn't they didn't do a, a cutting butt or, or anything like that so um, I've done a little work down here where the running board mounts but I didn't want to have to come up. I would have had to cut this thing like up here and it would have been the whole section. So I just left it. Um, what they had put back in there wasn't rotten or rusted out just down around where the holes mounted for the running board. But um, I figured we could have put body filler over it or whatever. Um, but we just smooth that full we'll get it like I said these fenders are far from perfect so I'm not worried about it I'm not worried about it one bit um, and then I need to get the bottom of this side on this fender which we just talked about I need to get that done um, but yeah I don't know 
I don't know what else I'll do in this video. Um, I know it's still relatively a short video. Um, I don't know what it'll be now. I, I'd say maybe 20 minutes or so. But I don't really know. I may add some more to it. Um, but either way, we got our fenders widened like we wanted. Um, I'm happy with it. We'll get a little bit of body work finished up on them, get some primer put on them, and they'll look decent enough for now. Um, like I said, and I've said many times, I'm not going for perfect. I'm not going for a show truck. I'm going for a lot better than what it was. And it's a lot better than what it was just as we stand now. So uh, I do want to say uh, I really appreciate all the new subscribers. We've kind of jumped. I don't I, I believe it was like 20 or 30 subscribers in the past week or so since I've done the last video for the front fenders. Um, so I want to say thanks for everybody that subscribed. I'm really pushing to get to that thousand subscriber mark and we're slowly getting there um, I'm hoping to uh, maybe do do something different with the content here coming up soon I want to get the 58 uh, Plymouth Belvedere I want to get it brought in and maybe start doing a little bit of stuff on it so maybe that'll be a change up we'll get off the truck for a little bit um, I'm just trying to get it as much done on it as I can right now being that it's already in in the shop so but yeah uh, keep keep a look out look forward to uh, maybe doing some work on on the 58 and I want to say thanks everybody don't forget to like share subscribe and we'll see you in the next one